This time of year, we start to think about keeping warm inside. Welcome to the Step Warm Floor Installation Video. I'm Paul Ryan. You know, there are numerous radiant floor heating products on the market today. Some are hot water-based systems, while others are electric. Radiant heat brings clean, quiet, and efficient heat to your home or office. And there is no other product available that can combine all the benefits of radiant heat with the simplicity brought to you exclusively by Electroplastics award-winning Step Warm Floor products. The first thing you need to do to get started is to draw a sketch of the area you want to have heated. Determine where all the electrical connections should be made, along with the location of the warm floor electronic thermostat. Your thermostat will function most efficiently if kept away from drafty windows, doors, and wall vents. The best place to locate it is the most central location in the room. It's also easily accessible for adjusting the temperature. When installing the warm floor, the first thing we need to do is cut the elements to length according to the layout. Then lay all the strips in place, leaving in this case a 2 to 3 inch space between the elements. If you have access to the floor from below, it is possible to staple warm floor between the joists. At the connection end of the element, use a dulled pair of scissors and carefully cut back the element's plastic corner material to the outer edge of the bus braid wire. Carefully pull the plastic away from the element to expose the bus braids. Strip back the insulation about a half an inch from the end of one black and one white wire. Take a crimp connector and slide it onto one of the element's bus braids. Fan the exposed wire on one of the supply leads and slip it into the connector with the bus braid. Crimp the connector completely closed. To seal the connection, cut off a piece of the rubber sealant tape approximately one and a half inches long and peel off the backing paper. Fold it over the crimp connection squeeze out any trapped air to form a watertight seal. We've reached the point where it's time to begin covering the step warm floor elements with the flooring material. We're using ceramic tiles over backer boards. If we were installing tile directly over step warm floor, we would roll up the elements to the point where we staple them down to the subfloor, spread out the thin set, and then roll the elements back out into the thin set. Apply more thin set over the elements, smooth it out a bit, and then set the tile directly over it. If a mud set or a cement board is being used, securely staple or tape the element directly down to the subfloor. Before installing the cement backer boards, mark the location of the bus braid wiring by snapping a chalk line. When installing tiles directly over step warm floor elements or over cement backer boards, it's recommended that you embed the elements into the thin set for maximum element performance and adhesion. When nailing or screwing down your backer boards, don't hit the bus braided wires. We finally arrived at the end of our installation. We called an electrician to hook up our transformer and thermostat to the home's main power supply. Even if you're confident about your electrical ability, a qualified professional might be able to catch a common mistake before it becomes a problem. Now this floor radiates a very mild, even heat. It eliminates the chill one normally feels when stepping on a cold tile floor and adds energy efficient warmth to the entire room. Remember, if you have any remaining questions about how to install your step warm floor products, just call your distributor. Thanks for watching.